Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. We all made it to the new year. Woohoo! Happy 2016 and it's time for another joyful episode of Coffee with Kelly. Yes, because Dunkin Donuts rules the world, keeps us moving. So I hope everybody had a really wonderful holiday and um, a wonderful new year. Here we are, 2016. We made it. We're all Jump through the vortex alive, and we are in a nine year, a year of endings, but a year of beginnings. It is a year of fruition. It is a year of harvest. It is a year of reaping. All those hard work that you've put in all those past nine years is coming to a culmination. So, what better things could we ask for for this year than to? reap what we've been working so hard for this these whole entire time so take advantage of it this year because if you have any kind of idea that you want to put into play do it now this is the year to do it you have any kind of uh, creative adventure you'd like to do do it you want a vacation do it do something that makes your soul feel good make your makes your life happy makes you um, it's what's your passion, what's your love, because this is the time where you get to enjoy all of the reaping and fruition that has been worked so hard for over all these years. So enjoy it. And if you don't take advantage of it now, next year, we're back in a one year again, and that's beginning, and we have to climb back up the mountain. So right now, we're like at the culmination up here at the top. So take advantage of it, because you don't want to wait another more nine years, because some of us just don't have that time. So do it now, you know, and uh, have fun with it. So, um, we are right now, we are um, on January 3rd today, which is Sunday. Um, uh, we entered uh, Mars in Scorpio, and Mars will be in Scorpio until March 5th. Now, what does Mars in Scorpio mean? Well, you know, Mars is the fire planet or the planet of action, you know, things get done, and Scorpio is that really deep down emotional water planet, the people that kind of want to um, not take things at face value, they want to study about it first, and they want to um, research, so this time from now until March 5th, we will be um, with Mars being an action planet, we'll be diving down even deeper into that emotional um, stuff that we have going on. And we can um, research a little more, and we can study a little more, and um, and it's, it's, it's intense passion because, you know, Fire, set, fire, the fiery planet of Mars is very intense. It's fire. It's passion. And, you know, Scorpio is also like the hottest sign of the zodiac. So, you know, it's like, um, not only will you have intense passion with your, um, things that you do in life, you can have intense passion with your, um, loved one. Also, you have to be very careful with that because with that kind of intense passion, there's also some kind of obsessive compulsive things that can happen. So you got to really be careful that it doesn't turn into one of those weird fatal attraction things where people are just like so overly obsessed um, because the fire planet just, you know, makes that steam with the water and it's just like boiling so you know no boiled rabbits please everybody you know think more of having you know cosmic sex woohoo so that's fun but we have our darling uh, mercury which is an aquarius is the sign of aquarius aquarius is you know air sign it's it's um the sign about thought and, and intellect intellect um, but it is going into retrograde in two days so on Tuesday we will be going reversed in mercury retrograde and yes we do have a lot of mercury retrogrades because mercury is like the smallest planet in our um, system so its um, duration is is faster than you know than um, most of the bigger planets that's why it comes and goes various times a year but you know mercury is the messenger and when Mercury retrograde brings you a message, you need that um, 
that retrograde period to go in and reassess that message that you received and reevaluate it. And, you know, you're going to relax and, and um, review the things that are going on. So um, with this Mercury retrograde being in, in, in uh, Aquarius, that's going to be like major comic retro actor, you know, retrograde crash, you know, so make sure that you like back up all of your work on like on your computer or um, really, you know, think the thought process through because since this in Aquarius of the thought, you know, we might not think before we say things so we can like get ourselves in a little trouble there. So, you know, since it has to do with intellect and with air and with thought, you have to really, really pay attention to what you're putting out in the universe. So that's kind of what this Mercury retrograde is going to be about. But, you know, it's it's a good time to go into introspection. And I, I really need it because with all these vacations that's been going on and um, with me being down a little bit, um, I'm finally getting a little better. And uh, I really need to get my butt back to studying. So um, we also have uh, Venus in Sagittarius. And Venus in, in Sagittarius is until January 23rd. Now that is like your love life is like more adventurous, more playful, more high spirited. And it's like focusing on the differences in that you have um, with your partner instead of the similarities and learning to embrace those differences. So, um, you know, Mercury and um, um, Venus is all about love. It's the planet of love. And Sagittarius, you know, he is the half man, half horse, and um, you got to just learn to love both sides, the horse end and the man end. And that's the that's the way it goes. You know, we're going to be learning about differences in, in, in our love life, and we'll, we'll learn to embrace them because this is a year of fruition, and Venus is very loving, and... Um, Mars, even though it is a fire sign, it, it it's also very a happy sign. So when Mars is in uh, Scorpio, when you are reanalyzing those deep emotions, you know you're going to be seeing them with the happy uh, point of view. So it's it's really not that bad. It's that's just for you know this month, and that's the way we're starting because you know before you jump in and start taking your plans to effect. You need to review all of that, and that's basically what it means. So, I decided for the new year, we are going to do the um, Archangel Power to Row cards, because, you know, we need a little power to get us going, because everything starts with a little fire, a little action. So, we'll do that, and they're beautiful cards. You see, they have... Uh, maybe gold on the outside. I love gold. And um, who doesn't love gold? So, and this is a year of gold, a year of abundance. So, it's great. So, we're going to ask these cards for our first reading of the year and see what they give us. And the Archangel cards, um, the, okay, here we go for Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Then we will get for the middle of the week. There we go, middle of the week, and we'll get one for the weekend. The middle of the week is like when Mercury retrograde starts, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, and the one for the weekend was like right there, so we'll just pull it right out. So, let's see what we got. Okay, for Monday and Tuesday, we have the star... Now, that's beautiful because we're starting the new year and it's telling you to go ahead and make a wish. Make a wish because um, Archangel Jaffiel, she is le like the Aquarius of the Archangels. You see how she's putting the, the two pictures with the water of life into the river of life. So that's exactly what an Aquarius sign is. And, you know, we're, um, we're in Venus and Aquarius. So, you know, make a wish, especially around with your love life, with Venus and Aquarius, because, um, your wish will come true. So this is a, this is what we call the, 
make a wish card or you know so this is how we're starting out the new year guys and this is great this is this is a believing in yourself and you know um it's the end to a difficult situation so yay i'm really happy about that because you know i was really doing kind of rough there for a minute with my health but you know when you maintain a positive attitude and you have a commitment to yourself and you have faith all things are possible so make a wish and it's a 17 card and a one and a seven in numerology is an eight and eight is change so that's exactly what this card is telling you there's going to be a change because there's a you know the end to a difficult situation and all that hard work you put in is going to come to a culmination so wish on it because here it comes so for the middle of the week we have the four of Gabriel um, Gabriel is the fire sign in this tarot he is the action the passion and a four of Gabriel four is stability so anything that you're wishing for with your love life with Venus and Sagittarius and with your wishing upon a star and um, your Aquarius thoughts about what's going on in there um, the four of Gabriel is going to tell you that that is going to be a very stable decision that you're making in your life so go ahead and do it it says it's time to celebrate you see they have this beautiful couple dancing in the gazebo because they're celebrating that they decided to go ahead and make a wish and go ahead with that um, love pursuit that they had so it's abundant rewards for your hard work and what better is that because you know for stability so that means you've really put a good foundation for yourself and you've um, really sown what you're reaping right now so when you make a wish this is just you know even telling us even though they were going into mercury retrograde it tells you to sit back and think about that because you did it you're here you're at the top you come a long way baby you know that's that's what this means release yourself from burdensome situations don't be carrying the crosses of every single problem that you've had that you cannot um, come to a, a fruition with. You need to take that and just get it rid of it. Give it to God. You know, when the moon comes, we have the new moon in Capricorn. And Capricorn, you know, we're in the month of Capricorn. And Capricorn is a very homey, stable, loving um, sign. So when we have the new moon in Capricorn, write down all your wishes and also write down everything that you want to release from your life that you don't need there anymore because it's not serving your greater good and it's just totally stressing you out. Write it down, put it in a piece of paper on that new moon, take it outside and you're setting your intentions. Set that piece of thing on fire, stick it in a cup, and just let it go and let let it God, okay? Just release it. And that's what it's telling you to do. Um, that's the Four of Gabriel, stability. And um, that's action. So the any action that you take here, when you're making a wish, you have stability. So that's great. Um, and for the weekend, we have Archangel Metatron. So it's taking a leap of faith. This is back to zero. This is where we have started and we're getting the fruition and we're coming out from learning everything and we're like entering our second life because we just lived all four seasons and now we're taking a leap of faith back in. So Archangel Metatron is sacred geometry and it says to believe in yourself. So when you step through that portal to taking that leap of faith, having, you know, taking action is having faith in yourself, you are going to be um, starting out like in the original tarot, this is the fool card. But the fool card doesn't mean that you are a fool. It means that you're innocent and you're starting out again because you have faith, because you've already gained all that wisdom for all four seasons that you started because you know the tarot goes from 0 to 21 and 21 is the world card and when you have um, received the world card that means that you have um, come full round and it's time to start again but now when you're starting again you're starting out as a master you're not starting out as apprentice so 
you are jumping through there now, taking action in what those wishes were, and you're taking hold of that reaping that you want to do because it's going to be a new time in your life where you are going to have all the abundance from your hard work. So that's a great way to start the weekend. Um, it says believe in yourself and listen to your heart and uh, do do what gives you joy. You know, do what gives you joy. Go get some Dunkin' Donuts because coffee gives me joy all day. Um, and that's beautiful. And you see, you take with you when you walk through that portal and come around to uh, your new way of life or your new beginning, you are taking with you only what you need. You see, you only have a small purse that you're taking here. And you bring with you your your guides and your transformational butterflies. You're bringing with you your angels and you're bringing with you your light. But you're not bringing with you all those problems and you're not bringing with you all those crosses you were bearing for other people. You're taking a light load, jumping through because you've learned. And now it's time for you to reap all of that wonderful abundance, my darlings. What a wonderful way to start a new year. And I'm, I'm so happy that we are able to have a chance to um, bring in the new year again. And I really wanted to take the time to send you all positive energy with the green emerald that would give you healing for anything that you need healing with. I send that vibration out to anybody who needs that in the universe wherever you need the healing, if you need your healing on your heart, or you need to get those thoughts out of your head, or you just feel that your health is not doing as well as you need it, I'm sending you that beautiful Archangel Raphael healing energy. And I'm also sending you tons and tons of pink quartz love. Love is what makes the world go round, and when you have love, honey, you also have the healing. So these go hand in hand together. So I wish you, for this new year, tons of love, and I'm sending that all out to transpire to you and to make you feel embraced and to let you know you are not alone and there's angels all around. And we have so many people waiting for us in heaven. And I am sending you the crown chakra crystal here to help you with your thinking process and to give you energy and to put your crown on so you can receive all of that. And, you know, that'll balance out your chakras so you don't have a broken kundalini anymore. That's the energy chakra. And last but not least... I send you gold coins and lentils of abundance. B abundance, abundance for you, my friends. Stick some lentils in your pocket, in your wallet, in your purse. That's a symbol that you will never be without. And gold coins is a symbol of abundance because when you have them, you'll never be without and you're never without and that's the beautiful thing beautiful thing about it you guys so i want to wish you a very very beginning of 2016 your year of fruition thank you for coming through the vortex and we're here to start again so make a wish this week and your love life think about that because whatever decisions you make that's going to be wonderful and then you have your whole new beginning. You're starting out as the dreamer again. You're walking through taking that leap of faith. So reap your abundance because it's here. So I'm sending you tons of angel blessings, tons of hugs, lots of love, and don't forget to always hold the light. Bye-bye, guys.